and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Notepad++. It's basically a much better version of the free Notepad utility that you get in Windows. And to get it, all you have to do is Google for Notepad++, or you can go to notepad-plus-plus.org. It's free. Then you just go to the Download tab right there, Download Current Version, and click on probably the easiest one for you guys is installer.exe. Double click on it and it installs. After it installs, you'll come up to a page looking somewhat like this. This is the start utility here, or the start page. And you notice a couple things here. So it's a text editor, obviously, so you could immediately start typing in there. But one of the things that is different from the regular notepad is that you have tabs here. So much like tabbed browsing, you can have multiple notepad windows inside of here as tabs. If you want to start a new tab, all you have to do is double click on this empty bar right here and you get a new tab, which is pretty cool. And basically you could keep clicking if you want to. You know, and it's, it's pretty nice. All you have to do to get back to an old tab is to click on those tabs. If you want to close the tab, right click on it and close. And it'll ask you if you want to save it or not. For that I'll say no. Another cool thing is if you right click on a tab, you can close all but this. So on on other programs, if you had 50 billion tabs open, and, and you know this, you right click, close, right click, close, that, that gets kind of tedious. So what you might want to do is, let's say for this change log right here, I'm going to right click, close all but this. Bam. And I'll just say no, no, no. And this one is the last tab left standing, which is pretty cool. Another thing I can do with the tab is I can right click and I can make it read only, which is pretty nice. That way I can't type there. It keeps me from messing up. And for me to change that, all I have to do is unclick that or basically click it again. And I should be able to do some stuff there. So that's pretty nice. So that's the tab stuff. Another thing you might notice is on the left side, you've got numbers. This is the number of the line, which is pretty nice. Basically, it tells you how many lines you've typed in, but it also comes in handy if, let's say, your coworker is running Notepad++, you could tell them, hey, open up this document and go to line 22. Very, very easy. So you go to line 22. Very nice. Another thing that is really cool about Notepad++ is if you double-click a word, all other words with the same spelling will highlight in the application in the window. So let me put back the N in front of this Notepad there. So if I double click on Notepad, so capital N-O-T-E-P-A-D, double clicked on there, that's highlighted green. Now if I scroll through the rest of the application, the rest of the screen here, you can see that Notepad has been selected multiple times. So this is really, really nice. Let's say I wanted to double click, uh, let's see what, what we have here, the word menu right there. Double click on menu and then menu is highlighted the rest of the way. For the, you guys that are working on Cisco routers, or actually any kind of router that deals with text configurations, what's really cool is you can double click on the word like OSPF or EIGRP, and all of those words will highlight in the screen, which is really, really cool. Okay, let's go into the preferences. So we can go into, let's see where we got here. Preferences is somewhere here. Okay, settings and preferences. There's a couple things you might want to look at here. Let's see, blink rate, we don't really want to mess with that. Uh, let's see, show vertical edge. So display line number right here. You can see on the left-hand side, these line numbers. If you don't like that, you could kill them. I don't know why you would, but it is an option for you. Display bookmark, we haven't talked about that, but as you can see, there is a little space to the right of these lines right there, or to the right of these numbers. If I uncheck it, you can see that comes in. I'm going to show you in a couple seconds what that bookmark space is for, which is pretty nice. And enable current line highlighting. So you can see here that whatever line I'm clicked on, it highlights. It definitely helps me out. I can deselect that by unchecking the box. Once again, I don't know why you would do that, but that is available to you. Okay, so we'll uncheck there. There's some other settings you can look at, but really it's uh, not a big deal. Okay, so this bookmark space to the right of the numbers here, what is it for? Well, this is, this is really cool. If there is a line that you are particularly interested in that's very important, you can 
go, let's say to line 18 here is very important. You can click right there, left click, and you can see it's marked with sort of like a blue globe there. That's sort of like a bookmark. And what it does is it helps you remember places that are important. So like, let's say you're editing a long document and you want to remember to fix up a line afterwards. Well, you could just click on there and that is highlighted. You can have multiple bookmarks, which is pretty nice. And I believe these buttons might, no, oh, maybe not. Uh, I thought they would get you from one bookmark to the other, but I'm sure there is a way to do that. That might be another video. Okay, some other things to do inside of Notepad++. There's a whole bunch of stuff, but here's one of the things that is pretty interesting. You can change characters and sentences and even the whole document from uppercase to lowercase if you so desire. Uh, sometimes you might want to do that. A lot of government documents might be all uppercase. So right here we have the word directory. So I'm going to double click on that. Or actually I'm going to just highlight there. There we go. So I'm selected on the word directory. It's all lowercase. Then I can go up to, let's see here, text FX, text FX. And let's see what we got here. Text FX characters. I could go down here to uppercase, lowercase, proper case, all this good stuff. Or I can nuke them and turn them all to space if I wanted to. But let's try uppercase, see how that works. Click uppercase, and this word has been changed to uppercase directory. I can change that back, textfx characters, and I can change it all to lowercase. Now it's back to lowercase. Let me go back there, and let me just try out zap all characters to space. That sounds pretty evil. And bam, it's zeroed it out. Uh, would be nice for redaction, like if you're working on a government document or something. Actually, it might be replaced by XXX or star, star, star or something like that. But that that is available to you. Okay, what else can we do? Here's a really cool thing. If you are comparing router configs from two different routers just to see what's different, uh, I'm going to do Control A and copy all this. I'm going to make a new tab by double clicking the empty space right here. Control V and I've pasted all that uh, crap in there. Now let's say I want to compare these two tabs. The text in these two tabs I want to compare. And it's actually pretty easy. I go to plugins right here, compare, and compare right there. I could have done a keyboard shortcut, Alt D, if I wanted to. But for now I'll click on there and it says files match. And as you can see here, in we've got an extra column here, an extra gray column here, and it's not marked. So which means both of these are cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the left side. I'm going to add a couple stars over here. So obviously it doesn't match. I'm going to run the comparison again with Alt D. And you could see here that we now have an exclamation mark at this point, And that tells us that something is wrong. Let me go down here to somewhere near the bottom. Going to just type in a bunch of junk there. Going to run the compare again with Alt D. And as you could see, if I go to the bottom, we've got this extra junk down here and an exclamation mark. So that's really cool. And let me go to line 28. I'm going to type some more junk, Alt D, and we should have another exclamation mark there. As you've probably noticed from this video, on the right side, we've got a nav bar. It's blue, and then I've got these sort of like beige lines going across. What's cool about this is it shows you graphically where the differences are. So I've got a line at the top, a line so a little bit below that, and then I have a line that doesn't match sort of near the bottom. And let's see what happens. I can actually click through here very quickly. If I if I had let's say a 5000 line document, I would be definitely going to this nav bar right here. This just gives a very nice graphical representation of where the differences are. And if you want to clear out of this comparison menu, all you have to do is go to plugins, compare, and clear results. You could have also done a keyboard shortcut of control alt D if you wanted to, and this gets you back to the regular menu. All right, so that was a quick and dirty view of Notepad++. It's an awesome program. It's free. It is uh, basically Notepad on steroids, and it's something that you should get and especially if you're doing any type of router configuration, coding, or anything about anything like that. Speaking of coding, and then you, you web guys, HTML guys, uh, cascading style sheet guys, this is uh, coding aware. So you can go up to language, 
and pick a language like HTML, let's say HTML right there, and then it will color code your command. So let's say I do bracket a href equals, and you can see it color codes stuff. It recognizes that code. You have a bunch of like dozens and dozens of languages here. If you're a C++ guy, you've got that. You've got COBOL. Oh, dear God. Uh, you probably have Fortran here. Oh, you've got Fortran there. And uh, you just have a whole bunch of stuff. Obviously, you have the big ones like um, CSS is right there. And there's a couple other things. Probably, let's see what we got here. Uh, Fortran, Flash, Action Script. So you get the picture. There's lots of stuff here, evil Java stuff. But this is definitely very good for any type of coder, any type of router jockey, router god, and even just regular text editing. This is great. Highly recommended. All right, that was Notepad++ free. Download it now. And thanks for watching.